let's make some vegetable rice for dinner. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. So the first thing I want you guys to know is that I'm making my own broth. That's just some chicken thighs that I seasoned up and I'm making it like soup and I'm making my own broth for this dinner that I want to do today, okay? At the behest of my son Joshua, I finally bit the bullet and bought a rice cooker. I never wanted to buy a rice cooker before because I wanted everybody in the house to learn how to make rice in the regular pot, right? So I bought a rice cooker and we've been like testing it out this whole week with different things. So I want you to see what we're going to make today. I have shrimp right there. I've got some frozen veggies and I've got some chicken strips that I grilled in Jory's, George Foreman. I call it Jory's because he's the one that really uses that for his food, for his workout routine and stuff. So what I'm going to do now is start piling things into this rice cooker and show you what we're going to be making. Well, first of all, the rice cooker came with this steamer thing that you could put vegetables on the top and steam it, but I don't want to do the vegetables like that today, okay? So here I have two cups and it comes with a little measuring cup and I'm going to do three cups of the long grain white rice with the menu that I'm making today because we all want to eat some of this today, okay? So let me get this washed. I don't know if you can see inside this, but this is like the European side, the cup side, and this is the water. And so for every cup that you put in, it's supposed to go up. So one cup is one there. That's where the water level is going to go. Two cup is there. Three cup is there, okay? So let me start piling the things in here. So the first thing I'm putting in here is the washed long grain white rice. And Joel likes like the pilaf and the wild rice and stuff like that. Um, the kids and I don't really like that. So I'm gonna go ahead now to the stove and get my broth. Well, let's put the liquid in first before we start putting in all the meats and stuff. So because I put three cups, we wanna get at least the three, but we're gonna go more because we've tested it before and found out that we like it much softer. So let me go get some broth. So I'm just going into my pot right here. And you can use store-bought broth from the box or from the can, but you know how I feel about that type of stuff. So I'm not going to use that. So I'm right at the three level for the, um, for the line. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit more, okay? because we're gonna want this to really cook well. So what I'm doing next is putting in all the shrimp. And I didn't season this or anything, I just kinda peeled off all the shell. It was already deveined from the store. And I just went ahead and washed it with some lemon juice. So I'm gonna put all this in here, because Joshua and Joe and Jada love shrimp. I will only eat like a couple out of it, because shrimp makes me thirsty. Then I start drinking and drinking and drinking and I start feeling sick. <laughs> and then here, we're going to put some of the vegetables. I don't know if all of it will be able to fit, but we're sure going to try. And I want to show you, other than these veggies, I'm going to put more, okay, but I just want to show you something else. I made some of these chicken strips in the grill right here. And so all I'm basically going to do is cut them into bite-sized chunks. Hold it. Let me see if I can cut it. It's gonna break it up on me. Anyways, as long as it's bite-sized chunks, okay? And then we're gonna put it in our pot. So let me go ahead and get the rest of this done. Okay, so I have everything in the rice cooker. I got it plugged in. I'm gonna close the lid, pull on a little lever for it to cook. And in about 20 minutes, well, I think it's going to take longer because it's more rice. So let's check back on this in about a half hour. All right, look how it looks. It took about 24 minutes. All this stuff got floated to the top. And then the rice is cooked. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Josh was laughing at me. It's really hot. It just finished, okay? But it looks good. I'm going to, like, close the lid now and just let it stay on warm, just in case any rogue rice grains weren't cooked just let it stay all warm so this is something you can make in your rice cooker and um one day soon i'm going to try to make rice and beans in it i'm going to cook the beans first and then put it in here with the rice and see what happens okay
Okay, so that couldn't have been any more simple. A few cups of rice, the broth, the vegetables of my choice, the meats of my choice, put the lid on, close it, 24 minutes later, I have wonderful, healthy vegetable rice for dinner. It came out really, really good. I don't know why I never thought about owning a rice cooker before, but now that I own one, I'm coming up with all these ideas of things we can make in them. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys try it. The rice cookers are really, really cheap. They start at like $19.99, right up to like $50 for the bigger ones and the more name brands, so on and so on. This was just the cheapy one that we got. It was like $29 at Walmart, and it's actually very awesome. Thank you guys for watching, for liking, for sharing the show with your friends and family, for picking up the book, and for everything that you do to support me. Until I see you guys again, take care.